Hey guys, this is your friend Iggy back again. So in this video, I'm going to show you guys how to use the Logitech Brio 4K Pro webcam. I'm going to go ahead and compare it, not only, well, not only use it, but compare it with the webcam on the Dell XPS 13 inch. Then also compare it with the actual camera that you're looking at this video on. Uh, not only the video, but the audio quality as well. So you're going to see me turning on and off audio and all that other stuff between all the cameras. So uh, first off, let me go ahead. Um, I'm doing also screen recording. That way you guys can check it out from there. Okay, so if I come over here and type in camera, you can see the really odd placement of the camera. It's right down here. Let me zoom, zoom in so you guys can see it. So you see right here, what an odd placement. Most cameras, it would be our most laptops would be right up here. Again, just a weird thing. And so I'm gonna go ahead and record it. Whoops. I'm gonna record it. This way you guys can hear what this sounds like. So I would have turned that guy off. You're only hearing it from the laptop itself. I don't know how good or bad it is, but anyway, I'll go ahead and stop it. And I'll go ahead and include that picture. I'll do another one. All right, so you guys got that. So just go ahead, turn that off real quick. Now I'm gonna go ahead, plug this guy in. And I'll put the uh, privacy screen back on there. Show you how it works too. And I'll go ahead and plug it in using the USB type C connection. Nice and it clips right back in to place. I'll just open this guy up all right that way you guys can see not all webcams are the same so now I'm gonna go ahead and by the way it is thundering and lightning out there so you're gonna hear a lot of booming and bashing so the lights may go off but that's okay this is a laptop so anyway uh, go back into camera All right, so we're still on this guy so right over here in Windows you'll see that little change camera I'll go ahead to touch screen so All right, so instantly you guys can see that quality the video quality came from this To that not only because <laughs> well there you see me there now it's brighter but there's not a lot of detail and then of course then you go there it is darker but there is a lot more detail and now on this guy the only way that you can move that camera you know is to move the screen like that or like that and it just it's kind of awkward now on this guy you can just go like this or like that so a lot better okay so then if I want to record now this way you can actually hear me talking and you can hear there we go you can hear the quality difference so I would have already turned this guy off so now you can hear just how good it sounded from here compared to how it sounds on here going back to the other one you should be able to really hear how the dual microphone sounds and actually does it help or hurt maybe me coming from this side can you hear me on this side does it sound any different now coming over here I'm on the wall so I really can't do anymore so this is on the left side of the camera even though you see me on the right side you know what I mean on your speakers can you tell a difference all right so 
that's pretty cool. Um, then the privacy filter, boom. So you can only see me on this camera, but it works perfectly well. The privacy can't, uh, thing there, unfortunately, is not going to block audio. The microphones are right here. And well, again, it's dual mic. Just turning that off. And then let's see what a picture looks like. So taking a regular picture from that camera. All right, I don't know how it looks like. I'll see it as I'm doing the video editing, but I assume it's gonna look good. All right, so jumping out of here, because I have to turn that off so that you guys can see these settings now. Now this is all software that I had to get off of Logitech's website, so I'll go ahead and post it in the description below. But here we have on the home screen, this is the Logitech camera settings, okay? Now we're under standard, but we can go under widescreen. What are you calling me, fat? I am. Anyway, so uh, we can switch on and off HDR. It's already off. We can turn it on here. Or, sorry, it was already on. I turned it off. Okay, then if you're using PAL, you can switch it over here. Or NTSC, you over here, and then field of view. Whoa! All right, so that's pretty cool. And then, aside from field of view over here, you can get a little closer. I got nose hairs. <laughs> but then, aside from that, you know. That's pretty cool. And the camera's not moving. It's just, it's so zoomed in. It has so much more feel that it, and then, you know, it looks like the camera's moving. We go under advanced. Then here, remember how I was saying it was too dark? I can brighten it up. Can you see me? Or just put it back. And then I can play with the contrast right over here. Autofocus. Oh, it's on auto now. I can do that manually here. I've had too much. Of it. I, I drank too much. And I don't know. So you might want to. It's, it's not a professional camera for taking photos. So maybe auto is good. But if you're going to be moving around a lot, you probably want to just turn that off and leave that under manual okay then the color intensity whoa whoa all right and i'll just leave that right at 50 and then auto white balance oh turn off auto it's not horrible there all right and then it's hard to know exactly where everything is, so we can just restore defaults. Did it do it? Yeah. Restore defaults, and it puts everything right back to where it was before. I don't think it... Well, here it has its own restore defaults, so you could always change it. So, now, one thing don't get freaked out on if you open up the camera, and it's only showing if you have two cameras... It's only showing the other camera, and if you click over here, you get an error, close other app. That's because, well, you have this guy open. You can't use two apps. So close over here, and now you can use the camera settings here. And mind you, you don't have to use this software. You can use the... You can use Skype or whatever other uh, Discord or whatever other software to for your camera. Just thought, I love this little guy. Anyway, sorry about that. Um, all right, so enough with that. So then over here they have, I also downloaded and installed Logitech Capture.
Okay, and I'll install later. And here you can select what source. We're going to select the Logitech Brio. Okay, and then from here we can also have maybe not all of the settings. All right, it looks like we do have all of the settings. Ooh, and chroma key. That's pretty cool. Okay, I need to play with that a little bit, but I literally just installed the software and I was exploring it with you guys, learning it. Then from here, I can take pictures or record. Uh, it looks taking a, a timed three second time picture or I can record here. So it is pretty cool, all the software they give you. Source 2, but this is, saw the lights flicker a little bit, right? So this is using, this is a 4K camera. So just wanted to show you guys how easy it was. As I'm exploring it with you guys, you are going to see a lot more from me soon. I'm going to learn a lot more of this camera and show you guys more soon. All right, guys, Iggy, again, showing you guys the Logitech Brio. 4K Pro webcam. More coming soon. Yeah. See you guys. Disclaimer. This product was provided to the author to do a review. All opinions are 100% authors and authors alone. For more information, visit bit.ly slash dvdisclose. To have your product or brand showcased on Dragon Blogger, visit bit.ly slash review my product. Thank you for watching.